in the humble hills of the avium savannah. You ain't a man until you settled up your first capybara. Howdy there, partner. My name's Woody Wild, and this is the Wild West. I've lived at the Locust Oasis my whole life, but now that our borders have opened, it's time for me to leave home and see the big white world. For the first time, Balamorians with a passport can enter Mistelin's borders, as well as a place called Port Serim that can take me over to Greater Corum by ship. Plus, I've heard of a land called the Wilds that nobody rules over, and that sounds just like home to me. I wonder if they have capybaras there too? I'm sure no harm will come in finding out. I'll be following a number of unique restrictions on my account, similar to the rule set that was used in Leaks 4, Trailblazer Reloaded. I loved Leaks so much that when Valamore was released, I became obsessed with the idea of a league with Valamore as one of the regions. Taking it a step further, how about making it the starting region rather than Mistelin? Of course, this account is fully following the Iron Man rules. But we're not actually an official Iron Man. <laughs> The reason being that I want to be able to fight back against other players in the wilderness and have the ability to gain a reward from doing so. The only reason Iron Man can't usually do this is to prevent transferring items from a main account, but I'm not going to abuse that. Except in PvP kills though, Iron Man rules will apply to every other aspect of the game. I'm giving myself access to just four regions, starting in Valamore before moving on to Mistelin and Port Sarin, then the Wilderness, and finally, Greater Corrand. In order to unlock each successive region, I'll have to complete a selection of five different tasks of varying difficulties. Seeing as Corrand is coming last, it won't get a task list, but if sailing ever comes into the game, you better believe I'm taking the open seas as a fifth unlockable region. There are a couple more exceptions to the regional rules that I'll also be bringing in from leagues, access to the herb loss skill, box traps, combat achievements, as well as any achievement diary tasks from my regions that require me to go outside them, but I'll go over those in more detail as and when they're relevant. For now, why don't we check in with Woody and see how his first visit to the capital city of Fortis is going. I can't believe I've just been muted for the first half an hour y'all. Let me catch you up on what I've been doing. I've been pickpocketing citizens for all their hard earned money and so far we just got our first level 10 on the account, not level 10 thieving. I also visited a couple of shops, so I've seen how much I need for a couple of items that I want initially. I guess we'll get back to those in a little bit once I've earned the money. And I talked a bit about the challenges or the tasks that I have to do to actually be able to leave Valamore and go back to my modified Mistelin region. So I'm just going to have to go it all over it all again. Yeah. Hi, welcome to the series. I'm sure I already said all that in my intro. I'm now repeating myself. Well, this is about as messy and back and forth chaos as any video I've ever put out. So, yeah, I'd say it's about on par for me. The tasks I need to do are complete Twilight's Promise. There is a combat portion involved with that. You have to kill a uh, level, I think, 81 Valamore Knight that needs two styles to kill it because he prays. So... We're going to need some decent levels to be able to actually just get through that portion of the quest. And we have to buy a house from the Valamore Estate Agent. That is going to be the easiest one on the list, probably. Other than maybe a piece of enchanted jewelry. I don't know how tough that's actually going to be. Please tell me there's a rune shop here. Gosh, how am I going to get runes? Something drops runes. I know there's a rune shop in Camtorum, but we can't actually enter Camtorum because we can't do Perilous Moons until we're able to leave Valamore. And it's the entire reason I wasn't just doing Valamore locks in the first place. There's no rune place. There might be a, like a spawn somewhere. I'll have to see. But yeah, Enchanted Jura at 4 would be easy, but we might struggle just to find some runes. I guess that's something I'll have to think about. Obtain and equip an add and item, obviously we'll need level 30 in either defense or attack to be able to do that, as well as a fair bit of change to be able to buy one. And then sacrificing bone shards at the Libation Bowl, probably the toughest of them all, except maybe for the Twilight's Promise as well, because we need level 30 prayer and we have no way to get enhanced prayer rates in this early game because we're just having to bury bones, We, you know. 
can't take them to the cow salt or, or a house salt or anything. We just have to bury them. So yeah, right now I'm thieving around 1,000 cash so that I can get myself some very basic armor and weapons and I can start to get some combat stats because there are combat parts in Twilight's Promise, equipping an adamant item and in getting bones for prayer training. So it's good to get a head start on it as soon as I can. Just need to thieve some cash first. And that is basically where I'm up to at this stage. But yeah, not great that I was muted for the first half an hour of my gameplay. Fantastic start to the series. Like I'm just staring at her as I try and steal my money. That looks kind of bad, doesn't it? That definitely had a Trump look to it. Oh gosh, I am Trump. Gotta change the camera angle. I got oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna pickpocket this guy instead. I just feel like I'm doing something wrong with the chick. I don't know. You could say the same thing about the guy, but I mean this guy's basically wearing a bathrobe, so he's asking for it. I shouldn't take the piss of them, they're my people, I'm of this land. But also fuck this guy. Oh, another thing is, I also kind of can't let myself die in Valamore. Because if I do, I get sent back to Lumbridge. And we don't have access to Lumbridge yet. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm going to try my best not to. <laughs> if I do, then I just fly back here. But... I would rather not, so I'm going to do my absolute best not to put myself in danger before we've unlocked Mistelin. Which will probably be the goal for this first episode, I guess. I don't know how much recording, like, in real life time it's going to take me to do that. At least making some progress in that direction. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Absolutely beautiful. There's a mind rune spawn. We're in business. And we get air runes. Cosmics might be an issue for the enchantment. I might not have thought this through. West Waller, there's a, there's a spawn for air runes too. It's the same spot. I'm literally going both at the same time, but there are moss giants there, so I'll need to be hella careful. I might want some HP levels before I even sniff in that direction. That cosmic rune though, that one, that one, I feel like we'll have to get that as a drop from something. I didn't want to do any of this research in advance. I wanted to like figure it out as we go, because I figured that was more fun. Okay, there's no spawns other than in the wilderness, so that's a miss. Okay, so zombies can drop cosmic runes, as can thugs. Oh no, they're in the wilderness only. Zombies can drop cosmic runes. Is there any zombies in Valamore? I feel like that's a common enemy, enough that there might be. No, I can't see any pins. I don't know if there's any pins in Valamore though. A skeleton? Oh, moss giants. Moss giants can drop them, and I know there's moss giants. We're good. Okay, so we at least have a method of enchanting a piece of jewellery. Not all hope is lost. But it's going to be a while before we can kill any moss giants. I guess I need an axe, don't I? Oh, I know there's an axe spawn, though. I don't know if there's a pickaxe spawn, but I guess there will probably be one down here. So I guess I'll go collect those once I've finished up with the thieving and bought my starter gear. You know, I'm actually really excited to see how the very, very early game combat feels with the changes that they made to damage, not rolling zeros as long as you did hit, like you always hit a one. It should be a lot better to level your very early combat stats now than it ever has been before, and this is my first time I'm really gonna experience it because, you know, dead man doesn't count, that's all boosted. Doesn't really give you an accurate gauge of anything. <laughs> you know what, that's good enough for me. Just over a thousand gold earned in about half an hour of pickpocketing. We are gonna hightail it over to the sword shop now, and actually on my way there, I wanted to check if there was. There's a baker's stall right here, I wonder if we can steal from it. Oh, he puffed perfectly to not aggro me. He just got locked straight behind here. This might be like a... I'm going to mark this tile because I think this might be a free food thing, which might be better than wine if we're taking food into like fights and stuff. So I'll just get a couple more while I'm here. It's also safer than pickpocketing a man, right? If we don't get... Shall I just get a couple more to get the level? We don't get hit by it, so we don't have to eat. Profits food rather than losing food. 
Yeah, we got up to 17 thieving during that initial portion there, so nice start to the stats. We can now see farmers, and if I'm not mistaken, I think there is one just to the east of the city here on the outer portion. I guess we can go and check first, though. I'm going to have to drop some more of my wines because I'm not going to the bank. Let's get ourselves one iron plate body, one iron plate length. Chuck those on. And then we'll get ourselves a iron scimitar as well. Look at that, 70 GP in the pocket still. And we're going to be even slower running around now. But we are an absolute Chad. This guy does look like he's called Chad, doesn't he? He's not, he's called Woody. Woody Wild. Don't you ever forget it. But he, he does look like a Chad right now in this gear. I think I'm ready to kill one of these guards. No, I'm kidding. I just want to go see if there's a farmer out here. There are citizens, more citizens. There's a master farmer. Yes, there is. We can get seeds. We can start our farming journey as well. Should we try like one or two big pockets? See if we get anything. We can milk buffaloes. Is it buffaloes or is it buffalo? <laughs> All the Americans hate me right now. Wait, do we only get coins from farmers? I thought you got like low level seeds. Oh no, they're only giving me coins. I mean, it'll be better XP, uh, better XP and GP than the uh, alternative, but yeah, that's still not ideal. We can't attack these citizens either. Like men and women, you can attack usually, but there's no option here, so I have to find something else lower level to train on. Right now, though, I think I've done it enough to earn myself the first spliff break of the series. I'm gonna go smoke this Wild West Kush. Get back to the West itself. Okay, almost got full run energy back. I am gonna go and get myself an axe and see if I can get a pickaxe too. I just want to get the basics on lockdown so I feel like I can level any of my skilling skills to get something if I want it. Because like, I would like some range levels, right? But I don't have a way to get them at the moment because I don't have a bow. So I'm thinking I'll need to fletch some stuff, which also means I'll need to mine so there's a lot going on here because so we are an iron man as a reminder i know we don't have the helmet but ah uh, um, we are an iron man fully just we can kill other players in the wilderness and take their stuff that's the only exception and there goes the run energy i'm hoping there's a pickaxe spawn around here i'm seeing yeah oh look at that i knew where it was before it popped up that is beautiful game knowledge coming in handy here game knowledge meaning me assuming there's a pickaxe here, but I saw the red dot on my minimap and I was right about what it was. I don't know why my character can't path around the doorway though. There we go, we got ourselves a pickaxe. Is there tin and copper here? That's a better question. How are we gonna get any mining levels? Six iron clay. Can you get can we mine clay at level one? We can. Okay, we've got a way to get mining levels. We also can't use the Quetzal system at the minute because we haven't done Twilight's Promise, so... Like, we're gonna have to walk everywhere for now. To get into a bank from here is kind of a pain, but I guess we don't have a need for clay right now, so we'd just be mining and dropping it anyway. Though it does still feel inefficient to have a full inventory of wine. What level do we need for iron? That's so high. So we're, we're going to be straight into iron as well. That means we'll need a high fletching level because we don't have any. Unless there's a, a spot I'm missing if we look for mining spots. Well, there is one here too. Oh, there's tin. There's tin and copper here. Okay, I don't need to get stuff. That's fine. We'll be able to make some bronze arrows at the bare minimum. Is there a... Is there a like a, I guess it'd be an archery shop. I don't know what they're called. I'm not seeing anything when I click that. There's a helmet shop down here. I think it is a good idea to just check out the shops. Make sure I know what's around, what's available to me in this very opening portion. I haven't done the crafting shop either. I suppose I could run up to the bank. Then the game back down there would be a pain. Maybe I don't go to the coastal later. Get over to that spot's a pain as well, isn't it? It's not going to be easy to bank stuff from there. I need to find something to hit as well. I want to get into a fight. Everything's Nothing's had an attack option so far. There's got to be something. Oh, there's got to be some sand crabs on the beach, right? Is that first? Oh, I've got to be careful of that scorpion. Oh, no. I'm not sure if I'm liking this. Hey, there's iron arrows. Never mind fucking fletching. Well, we'll still need to make a bow probably. But that's a lot 
easier, I imagine, if we can find some flax. I'm sure there's some on Valamor. It seems to have absolutely fucking everything. But we might land those bones here so we can start getting a little bit of prayer training, maybe. But we might want to get a higher level so these scorpions don't aggro us if we want to pick up some of the spawns here. Just start on this imp. Let's go, bro. Please don't teleport into the scorpions. Oh my gosh, we absolutely demolished that imp. Is this what combat is like now, y'all? I swear down, because I, I had sick rat RNG on Tutorial Island as well, and I thought it was just good RNG. Guys, low-level combat is legit saved. I know this is old news probably, but holy fuck, it's so much easier to level your combat stats. That's the first miss I've had. That was genuinely our first miss on the account. Okay, I'm just going to grab these ashes and then run away from the scorpions. Oh no, my run. Oh, there's a snake. Level 5. Happy bug swarms. Oh, there's an iron pickaxe there. I'm going to have to risk the bug swarms. Oh no. Steel skin, help me. <gasps> that was not a good idea. Oh no. Well, it didn't take me long, did it? You know, I'm not even surprised. Uh, okay, I'll see you all when I'm back in Valamut. You know, I was going to say the bright side of death is at least we get our run energy back. But by the time we've got to Valamore, we're going to be on negative run energy. <laughs> Let's try not to do that again. It's a good job I don't play hardcores, isn't it? It would not last very long. If this is your first time tuning into one of my series, it's... hi, I'm James. And I'm pretty fucking bad at this game. As I, you can see by my anticipation of the amount of damage at a Harpy Bug Swarm. Or well, multiple Harpy Bug Swarms, because apparently I was in Molly Combat and didn't realise. Can do to a low level player. The Iron Pickaxe, for now, is out of bounds, folks. <laughs> we have been taught a lesson. Okay, home again. I think I want to go to the bank and get rid of these wines for now. And I really do want to find something to actually have a fight with. I don't know what it's going to be, because I don't know what I can fight. Oh, well, I was going to the crabs, wasn't I? But then I, I got sidetracked by death. Like, there's no way I'm taking a guard, is there? I suppose I could sort of head over to the mines and see if I see any low-level enemies on the way. Just take a little bit of food with me. Maybe fletch a little as well. Just do a bit of general skilling. It's going to be a pretty chill first day i guess it's legit like nobody you can attack in this sea other than the guards who are too high level for me at the minute no rats no spiders Valamore has it good man i'm sure i saw like a rabbit or something a second ago where it was oh there's a rabbit we can take a rabbit let's go our first attack level i'm gonna swap right over to strength and do them in parallel fuck it up to level 5. No, no, I'll do, them, I'll do them each to level 5. Oh, I should take the bones. Do I take the raw rabbit? I guess that's cooking XP, isn't it? Every little helps in these opening stages. Okay, I'm not going to be hunting down the rabbit spawn, though. Okay, that's burnt meat. You know what? I'm actually going to pick up a couple of these zombie males as well. Because I'm already sick of my run energy. And these give you a, an agility boost of 1. I thought the respawn time was like almost instant, but it's not. I'm hoping that one extra agility level can make the difference, y'all. Because this is fucking bad. Till we get to drain all, we can't train agility, so. And I'm, I'm going to do my absolute best not to die again. Promise. Okay, that's taking way too long to spawn. See, so yeah, I'm keeping the armor on, so. We're not doing anything that has the risk that we just did again. I promise. Not until we have the might to withstand it. The first hit's hit points level, I guess. Hit points is going to be slow because we don't have Witch's House, so that's going to be a, a big one, actually. If we did have range, we might be able to save spot. We need some bronze arrows to go with it, right? Oh, there's an imp here. You just wander into the sea. I love it, imp. Oh! We got our first hat, baby. There is a best in slot headgear for this account, and that is the fedora. Which we won't get for a while yet. We need wilderness for that. It's actually on the wilderness task list that I created. Because, of course, Fedora is, like, the most 
Wild West thing. Okay, I'm open if I stick to the path, there won't be any dangerous enemies. Oh, you cheer old fuckers, that's so cute. Oh, is that low level crafting? There is a crafting shop, so I might be able to get some shears from there if there's none nearby. Just eggs in the chicken coop, I think. Yeah, I can't see any shears. Camp over here. I haven't really explored like the no man's land between stuff. Is there anything in your crate, Mr. Bard? I don't care to talk to you, I, I just want to rob you. Okay, here we are at the furthest mine possible away from a bank. Oh, there's a crash star. No way I have the level to mine it though. 90. Now I did find a, a way to actually bug it in Trailblazer League, but I'm not gonna, I'll, I'd have to do it down every tier because it's level 90, right? I'd have to do it like all the way down till it was level 10 and then get the very last level of it. So it's just not gonna happen. Like you just have to spam click it like this and it, it slowly changes by interaction. But oh, fuck that. Cool to have found one though. I was actually thinking earlier, like, I wonder if shooting stars fall on Valamor or not. Or if it's just, like, not in this region of the game. It's of where the observatory is and shit like that. But we're gonna be careful of that scorpion. I think I probably want to get a full inventory of stuff to make bronze here. Oh, there's one. Thank god. There's one right next to the Quetzal. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a long walk back and forth over there. So I'm not gonna do a bunch of invents, but... I want at least enough to make some bronze arrows, I think. I'm gonna have to find some flax as well. You can sort of like see flax on the map, can't you? I'm just gonna Google it while I'm mine rather than searching. Oh, there actually isn't any flax in Valamor. How do we get a bow string? Balls, we might need a different way than fletching to get a bow. So I'm not sure we can get a bow string. Okay, there's an oak short bow spawn. But we can't use that to level 5 range. Maybe we can make some knives to get up there. Okay, I'm going to have to move from this scorpion now. Humble. Oh, we're going to need so much bronze, aren't we? We need knives and arrows. Because we're not going to be able to get to those iron arrows to where we are in a much safer position. Which is going to be so many runs to this bank back and forth because we don't have any access to Quetzals or the bank in camp to run. Definitely going to need to ditch my gear for the extended journeys. I just wanted to do a little bit to get started, you know. I still haven't really found anything that's a good thing for me to fight at this level. So I still need to work on that. There's a couple of imps around, a couple of rabbits. But maybe I should go to see where the sand crabs spawn i think it's like down here rather than down this bit i didn't realize there were so many higher level enemies in in that part of savannah i should know it is my home but i am noob i never left the uh lux oasis let's say the guy there is not my dad definitely not oh there's a death stone in here good to know can you set your spawn point to valamore because that would actually be better Oh, need to get 5,000 glory in the Fortis Coliseum. That's not going to happen anytime soon. No time soon. Okay, it was like right here, right? I'm sure I said it was by the bird. Oh, it's all the way... Oh, it's by the other bird. Yeah, this is a long run to get back to the furnace. We wouldn't even have that bird. So we'd be better off banking it, really, and then doing runs between that bank and the furnace after that. But banking it at this bank and then drawing it out of here later. Whenever I do come to do this properly. Bronze nails there. Uh, and a hammer. I think we already had a hammer, but... Let's get our first bars! Closest anvil. And there is one down here that's actually closer than up here. I didn't know that, so... But we'll grab that hammer as well before we nip, nip out. I probably should check if there's anything in the bar, actually, that uh, helps with run energy. There might be. Just like a random drink. I'm not going to do that right now though, I just want to check on this shop as well, yeah we can get shears there for some early crafting levels, along with any jewellery moulds that we need, that's good. Oh, there's an imp here a bit closer to civilization. oh there's crabs, there's crabs, oh they're level 15 though, am I going to get fucked by a sand crab? I didn't realise they were such high level, oh we can't make anything either, what level do you need to make things? That was an oversight. 
We're going to need a bunch of levels before we can even make arrow tips or knives. Can we even use knives? That's a good point. That's how I'm planning to go for zero. Yeah, we can. We can use bronze items and iron items. Oh, there's an iron mace there. Guess we're already surpassed that with the uh, scimitar. Stop, stop, stop. Just make one. What can we make now? Mace? It's going to be the same XP anyway, isn't it? This is probably worth more GP though. We might be able to sell it. This guy, a, ma a mace salesman. He's called Spike and there's an iron mace on the table. I might have just hit the wall with my decision. I'm going to do bolts. Can you make sinew out of rabbit meat? That could be a way. You need feathers, but I'm sure there's somewhere to get them. I'm going to make them just in case. Oh, Spike, you beautiful bastard. How much will you buy? Seven coins. That's a bargain. Six coins on this one. Do I hop and shop? Or do I just take the hit of one coin per one that I sell to him? I don't really care about it, so... Okay, well, we got some levels there. There's a chicken! We can kill chickens! All day, I will kill chickens forever. Buffaloes, they'll drop meat as well. We'll be able to get sinew out of that. Okay, bolts. We could potentially make a crossbow. That's feathers. Bronze bolts. We need a fletching level of nine. We can get fletching levels, that's no problem. It's one of the easiest things to get at a low level. Oh, there's loads of chickens! I've never been so excited to see chickens. I'm going to collect a bunch of feathers. Wait, what level do you need for a crossbow? Okay, a regular crossbow. We can make a regular crossbow, y'all. A bronze one. That's ranged. What's the fletching level? Okay, nine fletching. We can do that. We can do that. This is this is on. We're getting ranged gear. I'm wondering if we might get leather from buffaloes as well. I think it's, it's worth trying to kill one. See what drops you get from it. I'm not leaving anything behind. Look at everything right now, my Iron Man is in full swing. This is what I'm used to, baby. Level 4! No longer fresh off Tutorial Island. Insane flinching. I'm actually gonna flinch this chicken. Just to teach her a lesson. You're my bitch today. Watch me bury your brethren in front of your eyes. This farmer just ain't doing shit. Oh, did that have feathers? What a rip-off! Kind of chicken doesn't drop feathers! What, in the Gillanor? In the Valamor? Is Valamor in Gillanor? Is Gillanor the world or the region? I don't actually know that. Combat is so chill at lower level. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna keep saying that until we're no longer a low level, but oh my gosh, this is so much better than any account I've ever leveled before. Outside of, like, boosted XP rates from leagues and shit. And there's a pro level as well, baby. We need to get all the way to 30 to be able to sacrifice shards to Rallus's Rise for our task. Level 2 is a fantastic start. Okay, I've got a full inventory of chickens. I'm gonna head to the bank, obviously. Wait, is there a... There's, a, there's an oven right here. I can just cook these bad boys right up in the farmer's house that I... There's our first cooking level, level 2. Why is the default option fucking burnt chicken? The hell, man? You know, this might be daft, but I'm actually just gonna train on chickens to level 5 all mellies. I'm completely happy to just gather some feathers. We're not gonna have avers. I was gonna say for a while, but we're not gonna have avers ever. Like, we can never go to Mauritania, so... I may as well. I don't see any reason not to pick up the chickens. How much do they heal? I don't even know. Probably not much. But yeah, we're gonna need lots of arrows or bolts or whatever it is we do get. I am gonna have to start preparing myself to make trips to that mine. It'll be a lot better once we have this one. That's not quite as far from the bank. Although it is still bad. It is still bad. That one is in the middle of fucking nowhere, but it is by fairy ring that we'll never have access to. We're never gonna have fairy rings either. Yeah, there's nowhere that's close to a bank for us. So, it's just gonna have to be something I'm toughen up and deal with. There is a charter ship. Can you buy bronze bars? Oh, I am five attack. I should swap to strength now. We're learning all the low level details of Valamore here, folks. The only spawn of a bronze bar is in the Brimhaven dungeon, so there's no spawns. And there is no shops that sell them within any of my regions. Which is uh, kind of surprising, to be honest. But yeah, Desert and Karamja, and then Asgarnia for the Dwarven Mines. We do have a tiny, tiny part of Asgarnia, but it's just Port Sarim. 
like that portal room during our area so that we can get to Zaya basically. I wish they'd stop shutting the door to the house. Like, I'm trying to walk inside and cook your chickens on your oven here. Almost fucking clicked then as well. Why Why is burn the op first option? That's the dumbest thing ever. Some nettles there if we ever want to kill ourselves. Was it just at my school that nettle tea was like a cool thing? Like, I didn't really know what it was when I was a kid. I just knew that... Like, my friends talked about making nettle tea and it being really difficult or something. Obviously it wasn't, you just have to, like, wear some gloves and pick them. But, yeah, that was like a thing at my school. I just remembered that out of the back end of my memory somewhere. Two strength, let's go. Oh, baby, when we see our first two hit, I don't know what level we can hit twos at, but when we see our first two, it is going to be a beautiful moment. There's a prayer level as well, we're up to three. I am gonna stop taking the chickens now. Oh, no, I'm actually just gonna drop my cooked chicken. We don't need them. We should get all that shit out of there. I'd rather have cooking XP and then drop the latest invent of food than leave cooking XP on the floor. And again, the entire reason we're doing this is really for feathers as well as combat XP. But I wanted to make sure I was killing something that was actually useful for me, rather than just something that only drops bones at a minimum, or like fuck all like imps do. Though there may be a couple of interesting drops we can get from imps. We did already get the hat though, so I feel like that's probably the main one. Oh, we got a hit points level, level 11. Look at us go. I'm slaughtering these chickens, these helpless poor chickens, and absolutely terrorized in their own backyard. I suppose it's their front yard, isn't it? Or it's their living room. Do Americans call that the living room? A lounge? Do they have a word for it? What do all Americans call your main room? Where you chill and watch TV with your family on an evening, if you love your family and have a good relationship with them. We hit a two! We're hitting twos, baby! Just as we get our fourth strength level as well, I think we actually hit a two at level three strength then, that must have been. Let's go! What absolute progress we are making. Get myself straight back to this oven. Here's your chickens, thanks for doing business. Man, some of these chickens are rip-offs, I swear. Give me feathers, playing that. I feel like this imp has wondered it. Oh, I need to finish the chicken first. There is our fourth prayer level though, that is actually nice. Yeah, this imp has wandered into the wrong prem, bro. The wrong pen. Now I've got my burst of strength, I got my level five strength. You're fucked, mate. I bet I can hit threes now. Doesn't ball level prayer last longer now as well? Isn't that a change they made that the drain rate was much lower on these low level prayers? Oh, we got a beginner clue. No chance we can do that anytime soon. We do have Barbarian Village in Modified Mist Harton, but not yet, obviously. So I'm going to keep this because I think one of my tasks is to complete a clue scroll for, like, the, the Mistlin Diary. There is our second defense level, seven combat tool. Okay, it might actually be time to graduate from the chickens as well. I think I want to check out those buffalo I saw earlier. If the buffalo drop leather, then I would like to get a few so we could start crafting. Oh, there will be a tanner, will there? Is there a tanner? What's fighting me? A mugger? Fuck you, man. Ain't having my money, mate. I got five chickens. Shout out anyone who gets that reference. There's no tannery. There is a fur trader and a hunter shop and a fur trader here, but I don't think we can get leather. I think I do still want to just check what they drop anyway, though, because we will need sinew from the beef, too. All right, hopefully we don't get absolutely clapped by this buffalo. He's dealing a lot of damage, but that's why I wanted to get my defense up a little bit, even if it is just a level five, you know. If it doesn't give me leather, that's okay, because... Yeah, it doesn't anyway, but we don't have access to a tanner. I actually don't know when we're gonna have access to a tanner, now I think about it. There's one on Zaya maybe, in the Farfost dungeon, and there's one in the Kebos lowlands, but it requires completion of getting ahead, which is in Great Akaran, so we should be able to do that eventually. Like, that's the last zone we unlock, so it's gonna be a long time before we get any form of leather. Unless we can get it as drops from something. 
Okay, so it looks like we're not going to be getting any gear for ranged. Like any studded leather or like that. Not till Varrock at least. I want to try and make this sinew. Yes. I'm praying there is actually a wheel somewhere. It's got to be. Oh, don't do this to me. There's no spinning wheel. There's no spinning wheel. We don't have access to any spinning wheel in this region. The crossbow dream dies here. Unless there's another way to... Oh, we burnt it anyway. No, there isn't one. There isn't one. Okay. No crossbow. Got to rethink that early range training. So I'm guessing it will be knives then. I think what I'm going to do is try and get the level for knives, I guess. So I'm just going to be doing some banking, taking off anything that has weight to it because the scorpions are the only things that I have to worry about and I should be okay. Okay, better weight, so hopefully that will make the run to the mine and back less bad because I'm going to have to repeat it a lot of times. I'm just going to be banking the ores for the minute. I guess I'll mine enough to 15 mining. That feels like a lot. I'm already level 5 though, so maybe it isn't that bad. Why am I running through the pens? But I'm guessing around level 15 might give us enough smithing XP for a similar level, although we didn't quite get the similar level off that first run. So maybe it's not 100%. How's our star doing? Is it still a level 90 star? I think they do degrade over time as well. Ah yes, it's still a size 9 star. Do you mind, bro? I'm just trying to mine in peace here. You sit on the other side of that rock and think about what you've done. Putting you in a timeout. And if your buddy comes and tries to start shit, you know what? I'll just put both in a timeout. You're in the sin bin. Think about the errors of your ways. I didn't realise till today that Valamor had such a, a scorpion problem. The harpy bugs as well. They're like insects too, right? Is this an insect? It probably has a more technical name that I don't know, like an orthopod or something. If I just randomly said a word and got that right, then I'm a god, but I probably didn't, so. I feel like I need to Google if orthopod is a thing now and if it is what it is. Uh, it's a form of medicine, but it's not an insect. Call it now, scorpions are an orthopod. When the scientists discover it in two years, tell them Wild Woody sent you. Woody Wild. I keep getting my name backwards. I'm kind of a dumb guy. You can tell by the sideburns. Our very first full invent. Oh, that's level 10 mining. We can now mine the first level of Crash Stars, if we ever should happen to see one so low. Along with limestone that I'm pretty sure there's not of in this region. Oh, I swear to god, if this scorpion attacks me while I'm playing with the camera. I was trying to get a cinematic shot, bro. Oh, you know what? We need two more rocks. I'm gonna commit sacrilege and drop a total of three ore here. Two copper, one tin so that we don't have to come back to this mine again because we can get iron at the other mine and I'm fairly sure that's better. Pretty sure that to that is closer than this to this. Maybe not by a long shot, but closer is closer, especially when you have one agility level. So that might be the last time we come out to this mine. I'm gonna take these bars over, uh, these ores over to the furnace and get some bars. Wait, 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 there's a bank here. Is this actually closer? There to there. You do have to go around though, so maybe it's not actually. Okay, I'm just gonna go into the city because I wanna go to the furnace anyway. Once I have this, the Quetzals, it'll be a lot easier. We definitely wanna work towards that quest sooner rather than later, but the Valamor guard fight in the Colosseum with two styles, like, we're gonna need a decent amount of stats for that. Like 30s in melee and range at least because he's a level 81 so we need to be able to at least hit him so i feel like that's going to be end up being one of the later goals and it'll, it'll be twatting us because we won't have protection prize i'm legit gonna bank these ores because i have to run to the furnace on the other side of the city and they're heavy so i'm just gonna bank them to run across to the other side of the city because there's a bank right near the furnace Oh, let's go. I had two full invents of bronze bars exactly, and I was pretty sure I remembered seeing a hammer spawn here, so I didn't bring one with me, and I can do this, and then pick it up after. We're Gucci. Can we make knives yet? Seven. 
Okay, we're not far off. I think we're five right now. I guess arrow tips. Arrow tips are fine. Oh, that's seven smithing. Let's go. We have our very first ranged weapon unlocked on the account. Not an amazing one, granted, but... Oh, I'm going to pick up that bronze bar as well before I forget. But we do have a ranged weapon now. So we can get some levels up so that we can get to that oak short bow as well. Hoping to completely surpass any portion of training with bronze aside from like these knives because we should be able to get iron arrow tips fairly soon as well as long as we get decent smithing levels here but i don't know if it's gonna come through enough we got the 15 mining i don't think we're gonna get the 15 smithing off this it is a shame it means i'm gonna have to mine more bronze offhand well no we can't do any quests or anything because there's no quests here <laughs> so i'm gonna pretty much have to mine more bronze either way going back to that old bronze mine which kind of sucks to be honest you would expect the amount of bronze bars you get to be the same as the mining level 1 to 15 but i guess it's not i've just thought of a crazy money maker let's see how fast this respawns okay yeah this iron mace is way too long of a spawn time to consider picking it up i was like if it respawns quick we can just pick them up and sell them to spike at like instantly but yeah the respawn time is real slow it's probably like six minutes or so all right should we test out our knives i don't have any food on me is there any edible seaweed here they might drop it let's have it okay crab's probably not the best thing to attack is it Crabs are too high level for me at the minute. Oh, it's a sorry state of affairs when crabs are too high level for you. But it's gonna have to be chickens. <laughs> we did get to 10 smithing, but we still need five more levels. It's actually a piss take. I feel like we're past the stage of raw chickens, but we're still in the stage of feathers and bones. And we will be for the foreseeable future. I'm hoping we got quite a lot of knives, 220. I'm hoping it's enough, as well as I keep picking them up as well, to get us to a high enough range level for the oak short bow. I can't remember if that was five or 10. Five. So we only have to get to level five ranged with 200 knives, so that shouldn't be that bad, to be honest. Knives aren't actually that bad for training, to be fair. Might be a better strategy than just using the oak short bow in the first place, to be should be on rapid though. Dumbass. Five prayer. Big moves. I think my goal for my first night, by the way, because this is still the first day that I'm recording. I think my goal for the first night is to unlock all three combat styles. We've got melee and ranged. I want to unlock mage as well, and I don't feel like we can go anywhere near mage at the minute. But I have a plan before I go to bed. And there is our fifth range level. We've still got 208 knives yet left. I don't know if there's better things I could be killing. I feel like there probably is. I don't think I want to stay here. I'm going to scour the wiki. I should be doing something productive while I'm scouring the wiki to see if there's any like extra ranged gear spawns around. Or maybe I should just go have a look around. Yeah, I should go find the short bow. See if I see anything else while I'm looking for it. Thank you very much. Glad I found that before I did any wood cutting. Nothing in that one, but there is a ladder up. And there we've got our oak short bow and a black robe. That might be some slime mage bonus. We'll check. Well, hello again, people. I have been hard at work for the past couple of hours since I last recorded. Turned my camera off to eat and then just carried on off camera for a bit. As you can see, chicken farm is going well and i don't mean we're raising any cocks the bronze knives are going strong man still got 150 of them left i've been picking them up religiously but yeah not having any neighbors isn't going to be too bad i don't think and the kill rate because these things have three hp means you get so many bones drops they're only four xp per bone sure but you collect the bones so fast that it's okay. Man's got sharp eye right now. 
I want long ranged as well. I've been getting defense XP. There's a defense level, nine. I was planning to stay here till 10. And 14 hit points as well. Every little helps us feel a little bit safer, which is good. Guess I want to have a slightly safer HP toll for the next part of my dastardly plan. Ooh, and there's level 10 ranged. I'm gonna stay until we get the 10 defense as well, just so it's a nice round start. While I was off camera, I also went and did another run of basically two runs to the, the tin and copper mine. I did one invent full of tin, one invent full of copper, smelled it into bars, made it all into bronze arrow tips, also chopped a few trees and fletched the logs into arrow shafts, which I have attached to some feathers from my earlier chicken farming. So I've made some arrows already. We're up to nine fletching, but I'm gonna make the rest of these bronze arrows. We're done here. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit more of a grind on the smithing, unfortunately, until we can unlock iron equipment. But that is gonna be our best way to get anything iron related, including the arrows. I don't think picking them up from the scorpions is really feasible. I mean, I suppose it could be, because when we get a higher combat level, 29 combat level, they were our growers. I'd rather have iron arrows before that point, really. And there is 10 defense levels. Zooming along, we're at 11 combat level. We've still got 126 iron knives left. I do want to see how we fare with the oak shot bow and the bronze arrows though. Not against chickens though, I have a juicier target in mind. I'm not doing picking up a hammer, I meant to pick up the iron mace just for a free 25 GP on my way through here. Every time I pass through this shop I'm just gonna pick that up and get like it, at least in this early game portion where money is still not something I just have readily available. I think it's a good idea whenever I'm passing through there. Oh, and there's a prayer and a combat level. Level 10 prayer. We unlock our first tier 2 prayer with the red border on it. Rock skin. Probably never use that. Who knows, maybe I will. Now, there is a couple of things I wanted to check. I'm gonna start this quest. Okay, so I'm at the part where I need to find all of the knights. But I can do it in any order as far as I remember. So, I'm gonna go to the one at the Colosseum because that's the one that I care about. This is the hardest part of the quest, to kill this level 81 Knight of Valamor. And what I want to do is just make sure that there isn't any way for me to cheese it with a safe spot. Because if there is, then I might be able to get this done a lot earlier than I expect, using Mage and Range potentially. And yeah, I want to have that knowledge before I go any further. So I figured why not just go in there and send it. I'm pretty sure if you die, you just respawn outside the Colosseum. Never actually died to this quest NPC, but it is going to happen here because I'm not taking any food or anything. I'm just going to die <laughs> to see if I can safe spot him on any of the pillars. I'm assuming he will only have a one tile box so he won't get trapped on any of them but if there's a way for me to trap him then i need to know no i can't even just get to the opposite side because i don't have any run energy oh he just hit me an eight why don't we look this guy up yes we spawned outside we're good so eight is his max hit he has 40 defense level and is reasonably accurate only has a plus five magic defense and 20 magic level, so we might be able to hit him 70 attack as well. He's accurate. Okay, so there's not going to be a way to cheese this fight. Is there anything in the guide about it? Oh, we could use a poisoned weapon potentially. I don't think we could get poison anywhere though. Yep, doesn't look like there's any way to cheese our way out of that fight, so good to know at least. And it did reset our run energy just going in there and dying. There's level 10 fletching. Well, that's all the bronze arrow tips done. We've still got a bunch of headless arrow shafts. And the feathers there saved up. More importantly, 550 bronze arrows ready to go. So, we can take that with us on our next journey. We're going on a mission, folks. Ah, the professional inventory. Alright, we've got a bit of a long walk ahead of us, and I think... In order to get to where I'm going, I need to go this way. So I think I'm going to veer on down to the Sunset Coast and just check out what's in the fishing shop here and the helmet shop here. 
and any other shops if there is any that I encounter. There's a pestle and more there, it's good to know. The blower is one thing that I can sort of do whenever, but I figure it makes more sense to at least have missling because then I can just run over there. So that's where my thoughts were at with it. But it's one of those things that, you know, the blower you can't unlock without doing the mini quest. Is it a mini quest or is it a quest? I don't even know. So it's one of the things that leaks just did automatically for everyone and therefore it's one of the things that I am doing that's extra to my otherwise limited rule set. I want the Iron Med Helm. Please don't hurt me. That was a very scary sound when I turned that on. Look at that, I already used the rock skin prayer I said I was probably never going to use. And we didn't get hit, so it must have done something. Oh, staying away from those Jaguars. Holy fuck, even the Cubs are high level. Shit, there's, there's more Jaguars. There's lots of Jaguars, okay. Gotta be careful with the Jaguars if we ever come down here to fish. A snake's gonna attack me, innit? Oh no, it's no longer aggressive to me. I got attacked by a snake earlier running oars, but they're no longer aggressive to me because I am level 12 combat. Look, it's already moving up in the world. And we've got an iron med helm to show for our bravery. It's the fishing shop's a bit out of the way down here, but... I assumed there would be feathers here, but I just figured, like, there was nothing better to kill than chickens anyway, so yeah. Oh, I didn't bring my coins with me. No, 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 no. Oh, that's not good. I guess there'll be people I can rob in the outpost here, but I wanted to bring my coins with me. It's not a disaster. I didn't have anything else planned to buy. I just wanted to check the shops out. But I would have bought a fly fishing rod as well and some bait. To pick up all these useful... You oh, there's an iron bar! No way there's an iron bar there. Oh, that's a huge spawn. There's a big fish in there as well. Five feather spawn. Don't know how quick any of these things are going to respawn. Just want to check these guys' shops out. Make sure there's nothing weird in them. Okay, I got too hype about the iron bar. If it was a bronze bar, it would have been way better because we can't actually use the iron bar yet. But I'm still definitely going to pick it up. I'm still probably going to pick up multiple others. I was kind of hoping for some items, I'm not going to lie. But I guess we'll take some fishing XP. Might get us a level or something. There we go. Oh, sometimes you get magic XP, don't you? I think. 650. That is actually huge. Holy shit, we just got seven fishing levels. That was a big XP drop. We can catch sardines now. If there's any sardines on this continent. Well, well, well. Okay, so we can buy helmets here. They're expensive though. For steel. Or above. Potentially get an adamant item there though. An adamant med helm is probably one of the cheaper adamant items. Okay, I think I've looted about everything that is here. Gonna make my way to the actual spot that I care about. Oh, hey, oops, there's some bandits over here. Might have to clear them out. Do the country good. Black Jaguar. Gonna stay clear of that. That's an Oryx. They just drop bones. Okay. They're a species of antelope. These moss giants look so much cooler than the other ones. Okay, folks. We're here at the gold mine. The absolute jackpot of low level mage training. Oh look at all these mind drone spawns. These guys have a max hit of 6, it's not even that bad. As long as I'm careful, we should be okay to pick up some of these runes. I can't see any air runes though, I was sure they said there was air runes here. Maybe it's further north. But on, or when I checked on the wiki for air runes, I'm sure. It was also in this same spot. And we'll have to hop for them, I think, because unless the time it takes for me to get between the runes is enough for the respawn. Oh, we can get a staff as well. I don't know if that'll let me auto cast though, actually. Now I think about it. Oh, there's only one air rune. Not ideal. Does this let you auto cast? It does let you auto cast. Holy shit. Okay, one air rune. Is there a better source of these in Valamore? Okay, well. I did want to try and kill a moss giant, and I think I still do. So I'm going to, once I've picked these rune drops up. And then I'm going to kill a bandit. See how bad that is. Because 
They have air rune drops and waiting for those spawns is actually long. I'm not hopping for a single air rune spawn when I can get them from a bandit kill, potentially, and just slowly build up a stack that's enough to get me started in magic. All I need is to get started, right? Oh wait, I said I was going to kill them. What am I doing? First ever moss giant on the account. We are defending our homeland here. Those, those runes actually respawn pretty quick. The other ones were way worse. The air rune up there. Those respawned pretty quick. Okay, this is going to be slow without any range of equipment at all. Our accuracy is extremely low. But I guess this is sort of a litmus test of how feasible it is for us to actually get big bones at the minute. And it not very is the answer. Alright, I think I'm going to give up on this kill and just grab the runes again. And then go try the bandit. Hopefully not get clapped on my way. Oh gosh, maybe I should put that on again. Oh please, no. I'm just trying to pick up my arrows, bro. Stop hitting me so hard. Please. Oh, I need to get the armor back on. That would be a smart idea, you fucking idiot. Okay, we came out of this with a meager smattering of runes and the knowledge that we can't kill moss giants yet. And a staff, we got a staff too. Which can auto-cast. I thought you could only auto-cast with a magic staff, but apparently. Alright, I'm hoping these bandits are just melee and we can just safe spot them outside of range. I did see another set earlier as well, when I was just sort of exploring on my way between the bank and the tin mine. Okay, let's see. Well, that's perfectly corn trapped. Oh, this should be a nice chill farm. I can just go pick my arrows up after and then run back around the corner. Rapid, of course, though. Definitely gonna help. Well, I'm kind of scared of this bandit. He's dropped a bunch of different runes and some herbs as well. So, hopefully we can get a couple of air rune drops because they do drop, I think it was 18 at a time. Can't tell if the knives are better or if it's just because we're fighting something tougher. I need to go pick up those arrows before they do spawn though. Water runes, okay. First water runes on the account. It's progress, I guess. Oh, I need to get the arrows again. We're just shy of the kill, but those are getting too low. GG, thanks for playing. No runes, it's bad manners. Oh shit, this guy's followed me. Oh, he has a long aggro range too. Level 12 range, 13 combat. Looking like a menace to society, or at least to these bandits who are trying to be menaces to society. I kind of just want to get one air rune drop before I call it a night. It might take a while. But yeah, we're only a 1 in 25 drop. I think I'm just going to move on from there for now. But that will be our method of acquiring runes. It's a shame I don't have my pickaxe with me. Stop at the old mine. I also tried this cave earlier to see if I could get into the Hunter's Guild that way as a way to deposit ores, but it doesn't let me go for it. I'm guessing because I don't have the Hunter level to go in the guild. I did say I wanted to get all three of my styles online today though, so you know what? We may only have five casts, let's use them on this snake. We might just be able to get a level, who knows? Probably not though. And we're out. <laughs> five air runes spent just like that. Magic is going to be a slow grind for us I think in this very early stage. Unless I find another way to get those air runes better. Those bandits are the lowest level thing that drops them in my region. Unless there's chaos druids here? But they don't drop them very regularly. Oh, the thief as well was another thing. I think that's somewhere up here. Let me go see if I can find them. Havachi! Close this door. While they're here. Watch this. I'm a god. Six fire runes? It's not a bad start. Do you need air runes to cast every single offensive spell, but it's better than diddly squat. So this guy's wonder radius. You're gonna follow me all the way outside. Oh, it's another one spot. Now it is a 1 in 32 drop rather than 1 in 25 from these guys, but they are quicker to kill. So that's a factor in these early levels. Maybe I should go down in there anyway, just to see if there's any iron spawns. Iron darts? That might be worth, like, hopping for a few. Okay, never mind, they're not that accurate. What's down here then? Just a tunnel. Okay. 
more thieves though if I ever do want to farm them. Well, I think I'm going to call it there on my very first day. We've done all right for ourselves. Got up to 152 total level with 17 mining levels, 12 smithing levels, 5 hit points levels gained over the starting value, 5 attack strength, 13 range, 10 defense, 12 fletching and 10 wood cutting, 9 cooking and 7 fishing. So a whole different smattering of skills. 17 thieving as well, not to be missed. There are some that we still don't have access to yet. Herblaw, like I say, I can do it whenever I want, but I'm just going to leave it until we're in Mistlin so we can run over there from Barb Village and we don't spend too much time outside of our actual regions. Uh, agility, we don't have access to yet, unfortunately. Magic, we have um, semi-access to. But yeah, we don't really have a reliable way to get air runes unless I hop the single air rune spawn, which is... a bit bad. Uh, runecrafting we don't get till Mistlin obviously. Construction we don't get till Mistlin either because I don't think we have any ways to get planks on Valamore unless there is a spawn somewhere. There is nails so we can... don't know if there's a saw either. So yeah that one's up in the air but it's not that important early level. Farming we don't quite have access to yet but we'll get there eventually. Uh, the very least, I know that the moss giants drop a bunch of low level seeds, so we should be able to get something like potato seeds from them. But yeah, it's been a pretty successful first day. Excuse the yawning. We've got a lot of tools gathered for our troubles as well, so that's nice. Pickaxe and racks, buff types of fishing rods and buff nets and a lobster pot, crafting tools, a tinder box, spade and basic stuff, a bit of food, a tiny bit of cash even, you know, 300 coins left over isn't too bad. I am very happy with our progress today. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'll see you guys when I next log in. Hey everyone, just a quick note from Future Me who is editing, I decided to close out the first episode here. I've got about three, maybe four more episodes worth of content already recorded, which I thought would be the first episode. So through the next few episodes, I'm going to keep saying what my goal for the first episode is, even though the first episode has already ended. But yeah, um, that's just a thing. So enjoy that. I will be editing those and getting them out soon, so we should have a nice turbo kickstart to this series. Hopefully y'all are enjoying it. Make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think about it. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon for episode 2.